You have a lot in common with the Iranian refugees who had to leave because of religious persecution. Uh, what's the condition of Baha'is who still live in Iran? Uh, well, uh, the film mentioned that in the 1979 Islamic Revolution, uh, there was a time of turmoil and people fled the country. Many of them fled for their lives, not just for their freedom. And uh, the same story is uh, true of the Baha'is. Uh, at that time, there was about 350,000. Uh, because they have married and raised new families, there's about that same number still in Iran. And of course, the Baha'i faith started there in Persia in mid-19th century. And to this day, the Baha'is are persecuted for their faith. They're looked at as apostates and deniers of Islam, which of course is not true. Uh, the Baha'is believe in the oneness of humanity and the oneness of religion. So as this program uh, promoted the uh, unity of Arabs and Jews to live in peace, to live side by side, we believe in that and we believe that all religions should live side by side, that they're all from the same source and they all teach essentially the same spiritual message. What kind of treatment do the Baha'is get from Israel? Israel, of course, is the where the uh, where the Baha'i World Center is located in Haifa. Of course, it was it was there from before the Israeli country was formed in 1948. It was there when it was Palestine. It was there uh, in the late uh, 19th century. Uh, Baha'u'llah was banished from one country to the next. Baha'u'llah the prophet founder of the Baha'i faith and uh, yeah I mean we work side by side with that country as we do with all countries in fact in the Baha'i faith we like to say the uh, the words of the prophet founder of the Baha'i faith that the earth is but one country and mankind its citizens so we believe in this concept of unity which is the central theme of the Baha'i faith